Hello, I'm Linda Ann Smith. This video is in response to Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsels uh, Glue Resist Background Number 4, and you can find her links below. I always forget to do this on every video I've been making lately. I want to invite you right up front to Studio ABC. This is a Facebook group, Studio ABC, spelled S-E-E, -E, like you see with your eyes. It's a Facebook group for artists and people who want to learn about art. You don't have to have, to have any special skill. And if you want to be there and share with us tips and maybe you want to share your own artwork or information that you found out about products or anything that helps the artist. And we'd like to have you there to join us. If you didn't catch that address, just look for the link in the description below. Here's my little book that I'm using to do my mixed media morsels. And on the left side, you can see that the glue looks green. On the right side, it's uh, clear, pretty much. It's got a little green in it. But the reason I did this page too was because when I did this one and it dried, it, this had come through the page and it picked that up in the glue. I couldn't tell that when I first put the glue on the page, but uh, after I, it, I let it dry, all that pigment came up in the glue. A nice little surprise. So I'm going to use some Silks Acrylic Glazes. Now I don't know how these are going to do as far as uh, the wipe off resist part, but I love the sparkly colors, so I'm going to use them anyway. The, they dry awfully fast, and I'm thinking since they do move, uh, if they get wet, that I might be able to pull them off of the glue and, and they'll resist. But we'll experiment to see. I always told my kids in, when I was teaching science, the hypothesis is not necessarily the way things will turn out. So we're going to check that hypothesis. So I'm going to open up some of these jars and get started. I'm going to start with the solar gold color because I left this jar open one day and it got just a little bit thick on me so I'm going to water it down a bit and use it here since we're supposed to water down the paint anyway. Kat's instructions were to put the glue on and let it dry and of course I've already done that and I noticed on the website uh, that uh, where people are posting their work that a lot of the glue is in very pretty designs. I just swirled mine around. This is going to make a nice little abstract, I hope. And I do like abstract work, so that that's a good thing. So then you add a watery wash of acrylic paint. Well, I'm going to kind of go in here and there. This probably isn't watery enough. I thinned it down, but I'm beginning to wonder. Anyway, the solar gold looks so pretty against that green. And I'm going right on top of the glue, hoping that it will come off when I rub it. But I'm beginning to have my doubts because it's going on pretty thick. Probably should have thinned this down a little bit more. But you know what? Even if I do it wrong, I'm going to end up with an interesting page because I just like these little shimmery colors and that glue. I've used glue backgrounds before. One of the things I find interesting about doing this mixed media morsels is that um, when I'm painting like an abstract or anything, when I'm painting I just kind of have done it so long that I don't think about what I'm doing, but this gives you time to isolate a, a, a method, a technique, and look at it, uh, and I'm learning from looking and isolating these techniques as we go, uh, as Kat makes her little videos, and I try to follow them, and <laughs> usually end up not following them at all, because that's the way I am. That's, my creative mind takes over, and I go, oh, wow, this would look better. I'm going to try this, you know, instead of following through. And I always did, th did that, no matter what I was doing whether I was cooking or making a dress, I, I always had patterns, but I never went by the pattern. I always altered them. So that's just me. That's just my creative way. 
And I'm, I know that she washed over, again, my creative way, I know that she washed over a lot of things with paint. Uh, I'm kind of going in between some areas because I'm just pretty sure at this point that these aren't going to rub off. At least the gold isn't going to rub off. The pink might, but they dry awfully fast. Still, I like the way it's looking. As an artist, do you tend to go off that beaten path also? I kind of wonder about that sometimes, if other people do what I do. I know the other day at church, a lady asked me for a recipe that I have made for years, but it never turns out quite the same way because I uh, add this and add that and add a fresh herb here and whatever I happen to have on hand. I have some recipes somewhere. I don't always use them, rarely use them. I use recipes if I'm making a special cake or um, some baking stuff, but pretty much, I think Mom instilled this in us. Uh, you just put in a little of this and a little of that, and you don't measure things, and uh, that's the way she cooked. That's the way I cook. So it's also the way I paint and the way I make clothes and the way I do a lot of things without the instructions. So I think that's the reason that I've said before in videos that I didn't follow the instructions. What I'm doing here is uh, wiping off my paintbrush on a different, uh, this is on watercolor paper, and I'll be using that probably in a mixed media morsel uh, as it comes up because I noticed that some things that I've got ahead of me, I got really far behind on doing these, and I noticed that she's uh, done some things like inches and you know, cutting up things, and so that's probably the paper that I'm going to cut up. These shimmery colors look really pretty beside each other, don't they? And that background that I'm going over, I don't, I haven't bothered to gesso anything under to hide it, just going straight on the page to paint, and that background gives it um, just a little more interest, just barely can see things through there. The paint is just transparent enough that you catch a letter or here or there, or a little piece of the picture that was behind it, but it doesn't distract. In fact, I think it adds to the composition. Putting this yellow over that bluish area, turning some of these into green. And I want some of that bright pink, but I don't want quite as much as I have, so I'll be going over some of that. Again, I'm cleaning my brush. I guess eventually I'm going to have to give up some of these brushes. I actually have some of the paint brushes that I had when I was studying art in college, which was back during the dinosaurs. I went to college in, I graduated high school in 1968 and went to college from 68 through 71 for my bachelor's degree in art. So that's how old some of these paint brushes are, and they're getting pretty battered. I've taken really good care of them because they were my first real brushes, but uh, this may be a little newer. This one may be a little bit newer than my college brushes, but I still have some of those. And it's time for me to start replacing brushes. I've got to have some good acrylic brushes. So I made sure that I have really nice watercolor brushes, but I don't want to mix those. I don't want my watercolor brushes and my acrylics on my watercolor brushes because the acrylic hardens and causes breakage of the brushes. And I like nice, soft brushes with a nice texture to the, to the bristle for my watercolors. And for acrylics, I like the stiffer brushes usually. I think I'm going to put this in fast motion and when I start my rub off and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've dampened a cloth here and I'm trying to rub it off and I let it stay on too long or the silks just weren't uh, thin enough, one or the other, because silks will move whenever you get them wet after they've dried. They're a, what you call a soft acrylic. And so, until they're sealed, they're supposed to be movable. But guess what? They're sticking to this glue like crazy, which isn't all bad. 
I'm going to start on this other page now. Going over the whole page in yellow. And I'm going to immediately wipe that back. This is that lemon drop color. And uh, you can't tell here, but I, it did put yellow on the whole page. And I'm going to try to wipe that back. And guess what? Even when I do it immediately, some of it comes off the glue. Some of the glue shows pretty well. But I seem to be, it's stained pretty much yellow. <laughs> so let's go over it with another color. And here I go. And it looks like I just wiped everything away that I put on. So we'll go with even another color. I wanted to try going over the whole page a little bit more like, like what she was doing. And every time I put on a color, it stains the glue just a little bit more. I don't know why mine don't turn out like cats, but I don't care. I'm learning. I'm learning that this is going to stain the glue, which is a good thing because in, in one painting that I did, I wanted the glue stained. I didn't want the white, and so now I'm learning what products stain the glue. Maybe I still don't have these glazes thin enough, and maybe because they're glazes, when I thin them down with the water, uh, yeah, I get them too thin sometimes, and you can't see very much color because... It's not really good for acrylics to thin them with water, with too much water anyway, because they lose their molecular structure. And that can be a really big problem if you're doing professional work. You want your work to last and not flake off of the canvas. So that was fun. So let's do it my way. <laughs> I'm going to change it. I'm going around all these little uh, glue lines and putting in the colors that I want where I want them probably will end up looking similar to the other page, but uh, I'm not going to go over the glue lines as much because I know that it's going to stain, and I want them, I want the glue lines to show up. So I will try glue lines with another kind of paint, and that's what this is all about, trying stuff out, learning about technique, learning what works and what doesn't. But I think it's making an awfully pretty little book. So now I'll just finish these up and I'll show you at the end the uh, details of my finished products. Okay, this is the first page I did and some detail pictures. And the second page will be up shortly. In the meantime, I'd like to say I'd appreciate your subscriptions if you haven't subscribed to my ch channel yet. I'd appreciate it if you hit like. If you comment, I always love the comments, and share on your social media. Remember to check out Studio ABC on Facebook groups, and thank you for watching.